we know that there are plans in place to increase that force even more on very short notice, and that gives uh, President Putin the capacity, uh, also on very short notice, uh, to take further aggressive action uh, against Ukraine. Uh, for Russia, uh, there is the path of diplomacy and dialogue to try to resolve whatever differences there are uh, peacefully through diplomacy. Clearly the preferable path, clearly the most responsible path, and the one that we would prefer. But there is also the, uh, the path, if Russia chooses to renew aggression, uh, of, uh, of conf confrontation and consequences. Well, to get some more analysis on this now, let's bring in our correspondent, Gulliver Craig, live from Kiev. Gulliver, first of all, give us some context here. What's the real significance of this visit today? Well, I mean, I think it's significant that Antony Blinken is visiting Kiev before he goes to meet with uh, Sergei Lavrov, his Russian counterpart in Geneva, at the end of the week. Often it's been the other way around, with leaders or foreign ministers visiting Moscow first and then Kiev. So symbolically, that's important for the Ukrainians. During that meeting that we just heard a little bit of, Antony Blinken also um, reconfirmed that the U.S. is providing an extra $200 million in military aid to Ukraine. That's not actually new money. It was signed off on in December and reported in the Ukrainian media last week. But that's official confirmation of it. And it is another step in the direction of the U.S. very significantly increasing its military aid to Ukraine, which has more than tripled annually. I mean, the annual amount of aid has more than tripled uh, since the beginning of this Russian aggression against Ukraine in 2014. But the Ukrainians are, the Ukrainian government, I should say, is always pressing for more, for more help from the United States. And what the Ukrainian government is now wanting to hear from Antony Blinken is what exactly will be these consequences that you will impose? Can you make any more concrete threats? Because there are fears that although the U.S. is talking the talk, its economy is not really ready to withstand uh, the kinds of consequences that there would be for the U.S. if uh, there were really, really severe sanctions imposed on Russia for the U.S. and, of course, even more so for European countries, which are so dependent on Russian gas and therefore a little bit more reluctant to commit to really severe sanctions, such as cutting Russia off from the swift system of international banking transfers. Gulliver, we're hearing about up to 100,000 Russian troops on the border of Ukraine. How is that? How is that threat of potential war being felt there in the country? Well, as we were hearing yesterday in the debate on France 24, perhaps strangely, it seems like in Washington they're more jittery than there are in Kiev. I still meet a lot of people who say they just don't think it's going to happen. They think it's bluffing. That said, the country is putting into place preparations. They've uh, invited people to sign up for ter territorial defense brigades, for example. They've made a list of places in Kiev that could be used as bomb shelters. But there's one new way that the situation is being felt in Ukraine. The reason I've come uh, to stand in front of this uh, currency exchange rate, which I hope you can see behind me, currency exchange center, is because the Ukrainian currency has slid in the last few days. It's at 32 uh, to the euro, or more than 32 to the euro now. It was at 29 just last week. And although, of course, the Euro Ukrainian currency does fluctuate, all economists who've been interviewed in Ukrainian media are saying that this is clearly because investors are jittery. And there are lots of other indicators that investors are not investing in Ukraine at the moment, and the economy is suffering. So actually, even the threat of of um, military action by Russia without ever carrying it out can be very harmful uh, to Ukraine. Gulliver, thanks for that. Gulliver Craig reporting from Kiev.